Do you see your mortgage as just another monthly bill to pay? When the statement comes in the mail or by email, do you look at that number and get mad just thinking about how much you're paying and wonder, how is this getting me ahead? But what if there were specific strategies and a specific way you could use your mortgage to actually build your personal wealth, improve your cash flow, and solve financial issues? Wouldn't you want to know about it? Well, in today's lesson, that's what I want to discuss. I'm going to show you a recent interview that I did on the Talk of Connecticut Mortgage Matters, where we talk about finding financial peace with your mortgage and some specific strategies you can implement immediately to help find financial peace in your life. Check it out. What, what do you mean by yeah. financial peace? What I'm talking about is financial freedom, really. Financial peace means financial freedom with no stress. So it's paying all your bills on time, having income coming in, all your expenses, everything is paid, and you know where the money's coming from, you know where it's going, and you can live a stress-free lifestyle. So it sounds like financial peace really should be an important goal for everyone. So I think when you're in that day-to-day, just making money, spending money, it's hard to think about financial peace. It's hard to think about using mortgage strategies to create financial peace. And it's really hard to get out of that day-to-day and start looking long-term. But in order to find financial peace, as we'll be talking about, you need to look out beyond today, beyond tomorrow, beyond next year. You need to look out from now until the day you die. And where do you want to be? What do you want your finances to look like? What does financial success look like to you? What number would you need in the bank or what number would you need coming in every month to not have to worry about your bills being paid? We can help you get there using your mortgage as a major cornerstone of this entire process. What types of mortgage strategies can be used in order to create financial peace in someone's life? Some people have a cash flow issue. So money comes in, you pay your bills, and then there's like nothing left. That's considered paycheck to paycheck, right? So that's a cash flow issue. The mortgage strategies that could help you if you have a cash flow issue are if you've been paying on your mortgage for a while, even if the interest rates have gone up, you might benefit from resetting your mortgage mortgage back to a new 15 year or a new 30 year mortgage. So that's one cash flow item. The next thing is debt consolidation. So many people nowadays are saddled with debt, student loans, credit card bills, medical bills, personal loans, and a mortgage can be one of the best places to consolidate your debt because of the flexibility. There's interest deductions in certain cases, great interest rates, obviously, comparatively speaking to any other type of debt that's out there. Uh, The other thing is going to be home improvements or renovations. A lot of people, as they go through life, they say, well, should I move or should I just renovate, right? So then you start thinking, where am I going to get the money? Well, do I take out a credit card? Do I take out a personal loan? Well, what about the equity in your home? The last items that I want to mention on mortgage strategies to help with financial peace is going to be pretty controversial here. I want to talk about reverse mortgages. The reverse mortgage of today, of the 2020s and beyond, is an amazing financial product. It can be again, like a lottery ticket for a lot of retirees. The last one is line of credit. This equity in your home, it's sitting there. It's building every month, every year. But how do you get access to it? You either have to sell your home or you have to get a loan against it. But what if you don't need the money right now? Well, a line of credit could be a great option. A lot of people are using these home equity lines of credit as emergency funds so they don't have to touch their other investments and things like that. So with all of these options, it seems that a mortgage could really be used as the cornerstone of a financial plan. It can be, and it should be. A lot of the time, if the mortgage isn't being used as a cornerstone of the financial plan, it's because your financial planner doesn't understand these mortgage strategies. There can be a real synergy that happens when a open-minded financial advisor collaborates with an expert mortgage advisor. When when we put these two minds together, one that's focused on the investment piece and the asset piece, and the other that's focused on the liability piece and the debt piece, and we have that heart-to-heart meeting of the minds, there can be huge wealth achieved. There can be just huge success achieved. So I consider myself a an average American, right? Um, what percentage do you think of my net worth should be in real estate? The average answer is going to be anywhere from 25% to 40% of your net worth should be in real estate equity. But what I found over the years looking at people's finances is that for the majority of Americans, they have more than 50% 
of their assets or of their net worth, I should say, in the equity of their real estate. There's five pros to using um, real estate as an investment. The first one is that real estate can appreciate over a long period of time. Also, there's provisions in the tax code. Real estate can also provide a monthly passive income. Real estate also lets you use leverage to build equity so you can get mortgages against the properties in a large percentage of that equity. And the last thing is that direct real estate investment can allow you to have control over your investment. My motivation in today's lesson was to show you a mortgage can be a cornerstone of your financial plan. It can be a lot more than just a monthly payment you make every month and don't enjoy making, but it can actually help build wealth into your life. So if you found value in our lesson today, go ahead, hit that subscribe button, smash the bell so you get notified on all of our future content and share this lesson with others. There's a lot of other people right now, they don't know about these strategies. They don't even know they exist. If you will share this with them, you can help empower someone else and maybe create a new millionaire with the results. I do appreciate you watching. And if I can be of assistance to you or anyone that you know, I do offer personal consultations. You can reach out to me directly, call, text, or private message. My direct line is 860-413-3938. As always, I hope that helps. And we'll see you next time.